Hey YouTube, scratching my ass here. Um, I really wanted to be making a motorcycle video today, but my wife and my daughter had to go to Waco and they took my Garmin and... <laughs> so here I am. I thought, why not make a cooking video? Okay, I know what you're thinking. Uh, but don't worry, um, this is where I'm going to start right here. And so, uh, whenever you're cooking anything for yourself or anybody else, uh, be sure to use a hand sanitizer. And, uh, so today what I'm going to do is do a little demonstration of cooking tilapia and vegetables with my George Foreman cooking grill and my Black & Decker rice cooker, which also steams vegetables. And before I go any further, I just want to say something. Don't eat this shit. Don't eat that shit. It's just not good for you. You don't have to. Um, with just a little bit of the right things in the kitchen. And I need to thank all the preppers out there because when I started watching prepper uh, videos and working on my food storage, I started learning a little bit about what I was putting in my mouth. <laughs> And so now I found that uh, I can make my money go a lot further, eat a lot better, save a lot of money at restaurants just by simply learning how to do a few things for myself. So, uh, and I, this uh, video comes with a warning label. This guy is not a professional chef. Do not attempt this at home. But so I'm just going to show you uh, how I throw together a typical meal that I might like to eat, and it's really not a lot of trouble. So. Like any good bachelor video, it's I'm not a bachelor, but I am today, so you've got to start with beer. I mean, that's where it all begins. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a little marinade for our tilapia, and we're going to use beer. Uh, I actually don't drink this, but I have no problems cooking with it. It's really great to add flavor. Um, so there you go. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, oops, sorry about that. We're going to add some uh, flavoring with some onions. So whatever you do, do not put your nuts in there. Okay? Warning. So I'm using a white onion because I like my onion spicy hot. And also uh, I'm using a fresh garlic. Uh, oops. Just get that garlic peel off there. It really doesn't matter because this is a marinade, but so we're gonna. slap that up. Yeah, there's the peels. Uh, Vince is right. Although this isn't a slap chop, um, it's a KitchenAid. But, so that's going to add to our flavor for our marinade. And what we're going to do is, we're just going to, and use the garlic according to your own taste. I like garlic and I like onion. And I like things a little bit spicy. Ooh, boy, that beer's really fizzling up. So there you have it. Uh, beer, onions, and garlic. Everything the groin boy needs. And then uh, we're also... going to add just a little bit of lemon. Hope you can see this. Uh, you might get creative and pull the tequila in there. Uh, so there you go. And then uh, also just a little bit of lemon pepper. OK. 
okay. So we're just going to take that and ooh, listen to that beer fizzle. And uh, the good thing about tilapia, it or, and the bad thing is, it's really a mild fish. It doesn't have a strong flavor. Um, so it's good to marinate it to give it some flavor and you need to marinate it for at least about four hours. So now you can buy fresh tilapia but I tell you I just go to Walmart and I get the frozen tilapia and it comes individually packaged like this and I've had it both ways and I really can't tell the difference. Uh, I've got my freezer stocked full of these Walmart tilapia and for ten to twelve dollars you get fourteen to sixteen fillets and it's just a bargain. Uh, tilapia is not the best fish you can eat nutritionally but it's really a lot better than eating a lot of heavy beef um, and it's a, it's, I, it's a bargain. I like it. So I'm going to just put my tilapia in my beer marinade and then uh, in four hours uh, we'll start cooking. Okay so uh, my tilapia is almost ready to be cooked. Uh, I've done some housekeeping and uh, we'll work in the kitchen, clean the motorcycle uh, about four hours has gone by so I'm getting ready now to cook my tilapia and with one other little surprise but a few words on my George Foreman grill um, these are really great the first time you use one you uh, season it with some cooking oil or uh, a, a Pam spray or whatever then after that you you never need to do that again and it cleans really easy and uh, it cooks on both sides of your meat. Now I like to use it for sausage, uh, hamburgers, and fish. I don't really find it appealing for red meat. I don't eat that much red meat, but when I do I like to cook it outside and I smoke it with wood, uh, usually mesquite, that sort of thing. But for a quick and easy way to cook fish uh, without making a big mess, you can't beat a George Foreman grill. and uh, so, and then over here is my Black & Decker rice cooker veg, uh, slash vegetable steamer. And I've got some long grain rice cook, cooking right now. And I'm getting ready to make my uh, creamy lemon butter sauce that I'm going to put over my vegetables. Uh, tonight I'm going to cook steam rather, broccoli and uh, broiler onions that'll be my vegetables that go over my rice and oh one other thing uh, treat yourself to a salad um, I've already got mine ready to go I've, I'm sure you've seen everybody make a salad so I wouldn't bore you with all that but um, we went out to Red Lobster this weekend uh, after graduation to celebrate a little bit and I had uh, bacon wrapped shrimp and mashed potatoes for almost twenty dollars and I gotta tell you um, the best way I could describe it would be okay <laughs> definitely not worth twenty dollars this meal I'm preparing right here probably have about ten dollars into it so um, and I think it's going to be much better but anyway so while my rice is cooking I'm going to start making my creamy lemon butter sauce and uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, you can use white wine I'm going to use uh, pink wine uh, to give it a little bit of flavor add a little bit of that in there one of the trickiest things about cooking is getting everything ready at the same time and I'm getting better at it. We'll see how it goes with this video. So, uh, 
and I've got some chopped up onions and uh, a little bit more garlic that I'm going to bring to a boil in my wine and uh, this is going to take a little while so uh, this is a good time to start and we'll bring that to a boil then while uh, about the time the rice is done cooking I'll start cooking the uh, the vegetables and uh, I'll get ready to prepare my fish one really cool thing for you guys out there about this Black & Decker uh, rice cooker slash vegetable steamer that I like a lot is uh, if you measure it correctly it's going to pop off when the rice is done and it's going to go to a warm setting now for this meal I'm going to have to remove the rice and reset the cooker for my vegetables uh, the rice is going to take about 20 minutes the vegetables take about 20 minutes and the fish is only going to take, depending on how you like it, five to seven minutes. So anyway, um, this is actually, I guess you would say, step two in my bachelor's dinner. Okay, so uh, my vegetables are steaming. My George Foreman grill is preheating. And my creamy lemon butter sauce is to where the wine has cooked down with the onions and garlic uh, to where it's ready to start um, proceeding from there. Um, so we're going to add a little bit of uh, heavy whipping cream. And we're going to add some butter. Now I'm using uh, light butter. Um, Lando Lakes. I'm a Texan now but I hail from Minnesota, so uh, I'm loyal to the Land O'Lakes butter, and uh, you can have your uh, olive oil. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, we're cooking, and in a minute or two here, we're going to start putting on our fish. Okay, so here we go. Uh, time to start cooking the main course. And we're going to put a tilapia there. Tilapia there. Just to give it a little more flavor. We're going to add some more onions. Why not just go ahead and cook some onions too while we're at it. And then here's the surprise that I mentioned. Uh, I made my own bacon wrapped shrimp kebabs to put on the George Foreman grill. And I'm going to put these above the fish on the grill because uh, that way as the fat burns off it will drip down to the fish and add some more flavor. So we're going to uh, give this about seven more minutes. Uh, some people might like five minutes. Uh, I find my fish cooked to my uh, preference after seven minutes. And uh, soon we'll be ready to go. Okay, so um, here's a little look at our creamy lemon butter sauce. And uh, I'm just going to take some of this off the top here and ladle it on my rice. ladle some on my vegetables
used about a fourth of a cup of cream, uh, half a stick of butter, and squeezed the lemon in there. So we got that ready. And here comes our tilapia. Just going to put that right there. There's our bacon wrapped shrimp. Then we'll finish that off with a little bit more of our creamy lemon butter sauce. And there you have it. Uh, haven't tasted it yet, but Red Lobster, eat your heart out. And uh, for all you guys out there, uh, I'm just a guy. I don't know how to cook. So you can do it. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.